What's up, Royal folks? It's your boy Ben back at it again with some shocking royalty that's going to make your head spin. Today, we're diving into an absolute insanity. That is Prince Harry's latest scheme, and trust me, you're not going to believe the audacity. So get this, Harry's the same guy who's been crying out the toxic media for years, is now trying to take over your local newspaper. Yep, the dude who claims the press drove him out of his royal family is suddenly about to buying up failing newsrooms. The hypocrisy is unreal. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but before we move on, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get started. So now Harry has been teaming up with a bunch of billionaires in the shady group called Press Forward. They've already got $500 million pledged and they're aiming for a billion in the next five years. They claim they want to strengthen communities and democracy or some BS like that. But let's be real, this is all about control. Harry has made it clear he hates journalists. He's constantly playing the victim and acting like the media is out to get him. So why the sudden interest in funding newspapers? It really, really doesn't add up. And the billionaires he's partnering with are sketchy. Take Pierre Omidya, the eBay founder. This dude has a history of funding censorship groups like Global Disinformation Index. Sounds like something straight out of George Orwell's nightmares, but here's where it gets even crazier. Apparently, Harry is trying to use his Archerwell funds for his venture. The only problem is he's got $8 million left. And get this, it's not even his money. It's from donors who thought they were giving to charity, not funding Harry's vendetta against the press. This is where it gets messy. The donors could actually sue Archerwell for misusing money. It's not a good look for a so-called charitable foundation. But does Harry care? Of course not. He's too busy playing the victim and trying to control the narrative. Now some of these billionaire donors are starting to get cold feet. They're realizing that maybe giving millions to a whiny entitled prince with a grudge against the media isn't the best idea. Harry's obsession with playing the victim is finally coming back to bite him. It's clear that Harry and Meghan are just exploiting the royal ties for benefits. They love to play the victim, acting like the world's against them, but at the same time, they're happy to cash in on connections. Their hypocrisy is staggering. Harry's relentless attacks on tabloid press just prove how narcissistic and self-centered he is. He can't handle any criticism or negative coverage, so he's trying to silence anyone who questions him. It's a classic take of wanting sympathy. And let's not forget about Meghan's role in all of this. She's the master manipulator, pulling the strings behind the scenes. Harry's the puppet, blindly following her every command. Together, they've created a toxic brand of victimhood and entitlement that's poisoning everything they touch. Honestly, it's time for Harry to grow up and take some accountability. Stop blaming the media for your problems and start looking in the mirror, dude. You're not a victim. You're a privileged prince. Using charitable donations to fund your personal vendettas is lower than low. It's a slap in the face to the people who believed in your cause and trusted you. If you want to take on the media, do it with your funds, not other people's. And to the billionaires foolish enough to get involved, good luck, you're going to need it. The whole scheme is a ticking time bomb. Don't be surprised when it blows up in your face and you're left with regret and empty bank accounts. Hey, but that's just my thoughts. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Is he a hypocrite for trying to take over newspapers? Are the billionaires backing him just as shady? Let me know in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.